at all? Because I know no. you've been to the other ones, but not the... Yeah. The... No, I haven't done any Comic-Cons. I've been told that the Comic-Cons are an absolute blast. Yeah. Um, part of it on that one is, I mean, the, the character of Boombox Boy was not big enough, you know, to warrant um, going out, you know, two, three times a year even and doing some of these. I mean, like Danielle Harris, I mean... She, she's constantly uh, sought after to do conventions. And I mean, some of these people are doing two and three a month because there's that many out there. I mean, personally, I'd love to do more because again, meeting the people is, is what the blast is. It's not, you know, sitting down and, and constantly signing stuff or better yet, when I'm sitting there, I'm always next to my dad. So more, I'm watching him sign everything. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, it, I, I don't know. He is just. I, I think that the people are what what becomes the coolest part about that. It, it's after the convention doors are closed and everybody goes out and they're hanging out, and that's when it's really fun. When you really kind of get to know these people personally. I still keep in touch with a handful of them. But uh, I mean, like, could you do like a go to a convention with you and Leon and like you know kind of present your oh, your man. your stuff? Like, if people. People would know you as a boombox boy, but like, say, hey, wait a minute, there's another side to Lance that we don't know. You or Leon go down to Comic Con or wherever and, uh, you know, represent yourselves, you know, for your company. As far as that goes, I mean, that's a great idea. And, and that is something that we certainly could do. Uh, I've had a few people to where recently, because we've worked on projects that have now been involved in uh, both film festivals and then they're kind of doing film festivals that are coinciding with conventions. Our stuff is being showcased at these and then of course directors and producers that did these films are talking about it. We just have not decided to be there with them, so to say. But wow. as things start picking up, which they are, maybe that's going to be the next step. Because, I mean, it's always good to meet these people face-to-face. -face. Do you think that if, if you guys ever had the One opportunity minute. to make, like, the, the next big blockbuster or to score the whole thing or whatever, then that probably increase your chances to actually do stuff like that? Or Yeah, I mean, I think now from some of the agents that I've talked to, I mean, it would be no problem in attending the functions. It's just trying to feel like, you know, we have something to bring to the table and... You know, I think it's always worth it because promotion is, is the key to everything. But at the same token, uh, you know, I think we'd, if we'd be a little bit selective so that we'd fit into the right style. Comic-Con, for instance, may be a little bit too off the beaten path for us. It, if, if it was a, uh, like a horror thing, you know, maybe. You know, just because of some of the stuff we've done recently. And, of course, we're branching away from that being our, our staple signature musical, you know, journey. So I mean, we'll see. The doors are always open. Let's put it that way. Well, that's cool. That, that, you know, that, uh, that'd be kind of fun to uh, say if I actually had a chance to go to one of these conventions and I'd actually finally get a chance to meet you in person instead of on video. But this is better than radio because we got video. We got visual now, you know. <laughs> exactly. Scary, but yeah, it is true. <laughs> that's what I, you know, that's what I like about Skype. I mean, it's, it's such a such a great thing. I mean, to do this, and I've done this once before. I don't know if you see my interview that I did with uh, Jeffrey Wiseman at all. No, but why do? Okay, and I'm gonna. I hope I don't feel stupid here. Who exactly is he? He's uh, a. He was a guy who played the other George McFly in Back to the Future, Part Two or Three. Okay. He wasn't okay. the pop that one. I mean, Crispin Glover, more people know who he is because he's done a lot more. Jeffrey Wiseman has been more like a character actor, more or less. But he, okay. he was, he kind of got his big break in uh, part two and part three. Okay, which, which of course I own because they're, <laughs> the trilogy is fantastic. And, and having Skype be like this... I mean, this is the coolest thing to now bring to the table, which is why yeah. we jumped on and figured we better step up and have this ability. I mean, you're the one within the last month, if not longer, said, why don't you guys get set up so we could do this? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I didn't want to sound like I was being annoying about it. I just thought it'd be kind of cool for, you know, for us to do something visually. Rather, you know, it'd be great to do something in person, but to do something visually... Just, you know, so people know that, you know, you are for real. I am talking to you. You know, this is a, a live conversation rather than saying, 
huh, who could that be on the telephone, you know? Could that actually be Lance's voice or whatever? <laughs> Yeah, or it could be anybody. I mean, I, I know I'll show you these pictures that are sitting behind me, and you probably can't even tell from those how much, you know, what is this guy even for real or what? <laughs> but when we come back in our second half, because uh, we're almost right out of time with my camera for here, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll take a quick break or whatever, and then we'll, we'll show, you'll show us a little tour of your, of your place. And I don't know if you have, do you have, you said your studio is actually at your home too, like, uh, where you have your instruments and everything, or is that just kind of... No, it's kind of like how how Leon and I do this, is, is because music can be so self-contained anymore inside of keyboards, computers, and software, is we each have our own project studios assembled in each one of our houses. That way we're constantly working together. Everything is done via online and our server but then we actually have a production location where we go and now if we're bringing in uh, larger groups, smaller groups, any kind of instrumentation, we have a separate place where we can actually do all the recording for that. So realistically, it depends on what we're doing, what kind of budget we're dealing with, and what the needs of the people we're working for are as to where we're going to actually do the work. But either way, we have to be constantly working, so I'll be able to kind of tip you around and show you the, the studio that, that, that I've built here and introduce you to the, the most fabulous Leon Brown. <laughs> and that should be uh, very exciting. I'm look, looking forward to that, I'm, and I'm hoping all the people that Me are too. watching. I hope people that are watching and look forward to it, too, because Lance is oh, not just by much. himself. He is actually he has a partner in crime here. Leon Bradford, <laughs> which is cool, rather than do it by yourself, because I know you had uh, one partner before. I don't know what happened to Jonathan or whatever. Fired. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was? It was just going a different direction, and and and, and the bottom right. line is, after some some time frame uh, of everything that needed to be revamped, uh, which Leon and I have been friends for a very long time was it was supposed to be this incarnation right now of Warlock and Bradford. And ever since him and I have teamed up and started this, now the things are starting to pick up and, and okay. go somewhere. Oh, cool. Well, we'll take a quick break. When, I, when we come back, we'll introduce... What's up, John? What's up? <laughs> we'll, get introduced, uh, we'll get introduced to him anyway, to Leon, and have you guys show us a tour of your place, because that should be very exciting. <laughs> oh, very exciting, like, uh, especially in the dark. <laughs> it's like, I feel like we're like in another Halloween movie or something, just because of all your pictures and everything. But that should be fun. Because <laughs> you're just sure, like sure. me. You're just like me. You you like to collect, and I, I like to collect too. So, I mean, it's just, yeah. uh, if you watch my videos on YouTube, you know that I'm all about the retro. <laughs> Well, and I, and I hope you'll be able to see what I do have up uh, as of now. So it'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun. All right. Well, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back here on Frankie Slauson Show channel on YouTube.com. <laughs> <laughs>